second encounter with Chelsea finally brought Norwich face to face with their former striker Robert Fleck. After sitting out the match at Carrow Road, this time the Scot was back in the Blues number eight shirt and a clever piece of goalkeeping by Dave Besson gave Fleck the chance to make an early impact. The ball turned back here for Harford and then Wise, a glorious back heel and here goes Fleck now and he's going to be left for Harford and the early goal is for Chelsea and for Mick Harford. Midway through the first half, the Canaries were dealt another blow. This time Fleck didn't have a leading part to play, but the final sting did come from another former Carrow Road favourite, Andy Townsend, leaving Norwich with a mountain to climb. Townsend, a terrific shot, and another one for Chelsea. But one thing that was becoming more and more apparent in his first Premier League campaign was that Norwich were a team learning to thrive on being written off. Well, it's gone in there and a calamitous mistake from Dave Besant. But Robbins has his fifth goal of the season. The Chelsea goalkeeper all at sea. Down the line it goes from Culverhouse and Rob Newman using his power and beating away the defender, cutting the ball back and Robbins has side-footed another one. Two for him now, two for Norwich and they're back on level terms. But where was Chelsea's defence? Ian Culverhouse had a cultured game at right back. A longer ball this time and they might open Chelsea up once again here. Goss goes on. Coming in from the left is David Phillips. Might try and lob the ball, chip it over the top of the defence. We'll try one instead. No power! Oh, it's gone in! What a calamity again for Besant, who cannot believe it and neither can the Chelsea fans, and I'm sure David Phillips can't either. It's a horrid mistake by Besant. Not the most spectacular winner, but they all count.